Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel. And of course, I get a lot of comments and uh, messages from people that just want to know one thing, if the rollout of the Patch Tuesday updates are going well. And it's a little early to actually talk about this. Usually, if there's something wrong or if there's an unusual effect to some of the Patch Tuesday updates, there is. it takes a few days to really show up and... Um, you know, really notice that something's wrong. Usually with what I call the background noise, you start looking at the blog posts everywhere. And with the blog posts, you get an idea of how well the updates are going. In my case, it went really fast on this machine, which is a pretty fast gaming laptop. It took something like, I don't know, you know, five minutes, seven minutes, and it was installed. So, you know, it was a very quick thing. Of course, you can delay the updates. I don't usually, you know, I would say that on Patch Tuesday security updates, delaying is not a good idea. But um, there is, of course, you know, you can delay up to 35 days uh, if you want in Windows 10. Remember that with the uh, Windows updates, you have the possibility to go into your settings, update in security. And you have two choices. You have pause updates for seven days, which is automatically just here. But if you go to advanced options, you have select a date. And this can actually, you have up to, if you do it today, January 12th, you have up to February 16th uh, to, um, you know, have updates paused. So that is an option that you can use. Uh, remember that using the uh, metered connection does not work on security updates like Patch Tuesday. But I don't recommend, you know, right now there's no problems and no case for that to happen. Also, my own machine went very well in the update. There was no glitch or anything. Updates, um, because that's another question for some, is how, how long is it normal for updates to install? And that is dependent on your own computer, depending on its age and depending on if you have an SSD a hard drive, a solid state drive, or a regular hard drive. Uh, that also makes a huge difference in the time that it takes to update. So, you know, for me, it's five to seven minutes, but for some, it could be 15 minutes or half an hour. It should not take an afternoon, that's for sure, but it could take an hour on some machines, possibly for those installs. You know, on my older um, Core i5 machine that is about six years old, roughly. Uh, one of the things that is uh, noticeable is on these updates, uh, cumulative updates like that can take at least 45 minutes. So, you know, if it takes a little while, just let it do what it has to do. And like I always say, stop looking at the screen and go do something else because the worst thing you can do when updates happen is to look at your screen because you You'll also wonder if, oh, is it stuck now because it's doing nothing and so on. Just let it do what it has to do and let it do the restart. And, and you know, let it just go do something else while it's doing it. And at some point, it's going to be installed. But usually within an hour, everybody should have that update installed uh, on Windows uh, pretty much. So, um, yeah, the rollout's still going well for what we see. But like I said, it's a little early for that information to come through. Um, you know, it usually takes a day or two before we actually notice anything when something happens. And let's cross our fingers that this update is actually a safe and good update for everybody. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.